you know what? We didn't see a fish this morning until we had our 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 Vex our Vexar going in the, in the shed. Or actually, we had our liquid crystal going in here. Oh, it's the same thing with me with the Vexar. We didn't see a fish till that thing. We turned it off. Yep. And I think in, the, in shallow water, seeing like when I was walleye fishing, like Wisconsin River years ago, we'd be in jigging in you know vertical two three feet of water. And if you had that that uh, you know back in those days our Hondex flasher on the front of the boat, wow. we wouldn't get anything. We turned that off. I think in that shallow water, I think they could feel that pulse. Uh, it seemed like after I shut mine off, within five minutes I had a fish in. They definitely become popular with the fishermen. Yep, that they have. I mean, good quality fish to eat. And sporting wise, they're, they're, they're fun. They're, they're fun. They put their scrappy little fish. Well, why don't we do a quick commercial break? We'll come back and we'll tell everybody. I mean, you outfished me, what, six to one today or six to two today. We'll talk about what we were doing. Uh, because actually, we were you and I were using two different things out here. Yes, we were. Tell everybody what we were doing and um, head home. I think I have uh, some leftover lasagna for dinner tonight. Yeah, that sounds good. Yep. Stay with us. When you come back, we'll talk about what we were doing and what Greg was doing to catch more fish than me today. I think I'm going to have fresh white fish. Oh, are you? Yeah. I've got a couple. <laughs> oh, boy. Today, I take, take it in the chop. The hook set tip-up is extremely easy to set up. We push down and turn to engage it in any of those three notches. Set the flag under the T-bar. Now when that fish bites, the spring decompresses and sets the hook firmly into the mouth of the fish. The hook set tip-up has the highest hookup percentage. How often does your tip-up hook up? Hook set tip-ups are available at hooksettipup.com, Gander Mountain, Shields All Sport, Sportsman's Warehouse, and select Mills, Fleet Farm, Wisconsin stores. Out here, a man's gear better stand up. This rental cell, good example of that, divides his time hunting, roping, and makes his living fishing, always after the big ones, crappie, bass, or redfish. He's partial to vicious fishing lines, cast easy, resist abrasion, sensitive to the slightest strikes. Time to get vicious. You reckon? I'm gonna make a bigger net. Alrighty, what we're doing here today? Well, for me, I was uh, looking through an eight-inch window all day today. The key was to be where the fish were. Yeah, I think that's that was the big thing. And and when you had your opportunity, you have to take it. We would not have caught a fish today. I know I wouldn't have if I hadn't seen them take the jig. Oh yeah, they they, they definitely bit light. And where I had my luck, every fish that I seen come in bit. You know, I don't know if we could say that in, in our tent here, but I'll bet you three quarters of them did. We were just a little bit slow to the draw. Also, I think one of the issues is, is the jigs that I was using. Um, I mean, one thing when I fished today, all I did basically is, you know, look down the hole, and I just held the line in my hand here and used my, you know, basically my fingers just to jig it, just real nice and easy. Uh, what I used today is I used... Uh, this Kodiak jig that we, we picked up, yep. they're, they're uh, number 10. Um, what I did do is they, that thing comes with a bead on it. I took the bead off it, rigged it up with uh, a noogie, and, you know, worked it down close to the bottom. The one I used was a pink and white, so it was real easy to see. And the noogie I used was just a regular glow. Not that it really glowed that much down there, but it, it was, you know, awfully good-looking bait. I mean, that thing sat in the water. Oh, you know, man. if I could have fit through the hole, I thought about eating it a couple of times. Yeah. Um, and then how I have my rod rig today is there's my my jig. I'm using about a 10 foot, 10, 10 foot, uh, 10 inch to 12 inch uh, leader to a barrel swivel, and then the line up to the rod. The line I'm using, I'm using the four pound uh, vicious fluorocarbon. Okay. Um, I like you know for this I could really feel that jig on my finger. Um, not oh, that the, the rod that really wasn't a huge time important. But I was using uh, one of uh, uh, Jason Mitchell's uh, meat sticks. I still have one that didn't break. That it's the only one piece. And um, but the rod wasn't the big thing. The big thing today was just uh, you know keeping an eye on a jig and watching for fish. Yeah, but like really, I said, I only picked up a couple today. You really don't need the sensitivity of a rod today. 
because you're just side fishing. Right, right. And you know, I'm pretty much rigged up the same way, but I've got the, the vicious uh, panfish line on. You like that yellow line, huh? Yeah. yeah. When you start getting old and your eyes start going bad, it's really nice to see what you're doing. Well, they say that's one of the first things that goes is your eyes. You no, know, they're about gone. And what were you using for? I mean, what were you? I mean, now was, you were were you you were jigging your rod. You were holding your rod pretty much yeah, all day. I was holding the rod all day, jigging the gens bug. You know, and just trying to cover up that hook because this one here has got a pretty big hook on there. See, I think that was one of the things today is is to compare. Here's the difference in hook sizes. No, oh, yeah. And girls. Yeah, they do have a smaller mouth, but you definitely need it. It's sort of bony. Right. And you got to get like something okay. into them to stick. Here, drop that in my hand once. And what I was trying to just replicate is the size of the goby that they've been I've been finding in their bellies from cleaning them. Are you able to see that there, cameraman? Yep. But I think that's the thing is I actually, early on, I missed some fish. And I was using, actually, but when I missed a few, I was actually using a smaller jig than this. And that is... Too, just too small of a hook. I think that's the advantage. You use that bigger Gens bug. Yeah. It had a bigger hook in there. Yeah, just every once in a while, I dig it in the dirt a little bit and get it up about three inches and just keep jiggling it. First couple that did come in on me, you know, it's sort of, you know, a little bit different to sight fishing. They come in, it's sort of like you said earlier, the figure eight and the musky. It's like all of a sudden they're there. And you pull away from them. Yeah. Yeah, and like I said, they are spooky, skittish. As soon as I, I moved that jig a little bit more than what I was doing, they were gone. Yeah, well, that's one thing I was able to do easy with my rock, my finger like this. I just kept doing it, and when they came through, Jim said they'd come through, and then they would turn around and come back and sit right in front of it, and that's why I just kept jiggling it. And like I said, the first two are timing issues. Where I was, yeah. Oh, it's gone. You know, I was a little bit slow. But practice will make perfect. Oh, yeah. You know, we still have a few more weeks of ice left. Are you kidding me? There's 30 some inches of ice. I was down to the engine over there before. We got ice until opening day smallmouth fishing. We'll be fishing open water Chicago before we're going to be fishing around <laughs> here. Oh, well, Spring Valley at least. Yep, that's heck, that's uh, three weeks away. Yep. Well, I think we have to get a cameraman back to college. Yep, my tummy's growling. Want some uh, pan fried whitefish. I'm gonna have a little leftover lasagna. But somebody took all our chili Fritos, so someone's gonna pay the price later. Yeah, he was nice and shared with me. Oh, did he? Mm hmm. That's so. Well, everybody, thanks for watching us. Well, We'd case. like to thank uh, Jim for putting us on uh, at least the spot. Uh, his number's at the bottom of the screen. Give Jim a call, Rainier. And uh, he'll put you on these whitefish. We uh, we talked to his crew earlier, and uh, they were into the second pail already. So it wasn't uh, it wasn't that bad a day. So no. I guess we'll head out of here and go eat some lasagna and whitefish. Sounds good. All right. Thanks for being with us. Remember, it's always about having a good time.